Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In my previous videos, I have shown you how to design this pricing table from scratch using HTML and CSS. And if you decrease the width of the browser window, we can see that it is completely responsive. So if you want to learn how to design this from scratch, you can watch my previous videos. I will leave the link in the description of this video. And I will also leave the link of the source code. Now in this video, I'll show you how to add this pricing table to your Blogger website. So let's get started. Right here, I'm in my Blogger dashboard and let's click on View Blog. And this is how our website looks. And if you go back to our dashboard and if you click on Theme, you can see that I'm using this theme called Contempo Light and it comes by default with Blogger. All right, now let's add this pricing table to one of the posts in our Blogger website. So let's click on New Post. And for the title, I'll just type Pricing of our product. And now you can go ahead and add your own content over here. You can go ahead and add images or whatever you want over here. And then whenever you need to add this pricing table, you have to go over here to this button and click on HTML view. And uh, here you can add your HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So let's go to the source code of our design. All right, this is the source code. And uh, here you can go ahead and change all this content over here. You can change the name, the paragraph, the price and all of these over here. You can even add new features by just copy and pasting this list item. And you can also remove features from here. So in this way, you have three plans over here. So let's copy this HTML and uh, let's paste it in our blogger post. So I just copy from here till uh, the end, till here. So let's copy this and let's go back. And I'll just paste it over here. And now let's add the CSS. So let's go over here and let's create a style tag. And here in the style tag, we will add the CSS. So let's go back to the source code and you can find the link of this source code in the description. All right, let's go over here to style.css and let's copy all the CSS. So just select all and copy and paste it over here inside the style tag. All right, now let's click on publish and confirm. And let's see whether everything works all right. So let's click on this uh, view button. And here we can see our pricing table is being displayed, but we have some problems in the styling. First of all, let's check whether the mobile version is working all right. So let's decrease the width of the browser window. And the mobile version is working all right. We don't have any problems. So the problem is with the desktop version. Now the problem is with the max width inside our media queries. So if you go back to our CSS and if we scroll down, here we can see we have set a max width of 1000 pixels. And if the width of the browser is less than 1000 pixels, we are adding all the CSS. So if we go back to our original design, now here we can see we have the full width of the browser window for the pricing table. But in our blogger website, we have this outer container. And in that we have this pricing table. So it doesn't have the full width of the browser window. So for that, we need to make some changes in our CSS. So let's right click over here and click on inspect. And let's make some changes. The first thing we will do is we will decrease the margin between these pricing tables. So I'll just scroll up and I'll just maximize this. And let's select the table. And here we can see these are the styles for the table. And let's decrease the margin a little bit. So here we can see we have a margin of zero for top and bottom and 16 pixels for left and right. So let's decrease this a little bit and let's set it to, I think, six pixels or let's set it to eight pixels and now we need to change the font size of these headings so let's go inside the table and first of all let's add these changes to our blogger post so let's go over here to posts and let's click on this post and let's go to the css and here in the table we need to change this to eight pixels so let's change this and let's go back and uh, the next thing we need to do is change the font size of this heading so let's select the heading and uh, let's decrease the font size a little bit. So I think 26 pixels looks all right. So let's go back to the post and uh, let's go to the heading. And here instead of 32, we will set it to 26 pixels. And let's go back to our post and uh, we also have to change the font size of this price. So let's select the price and uh, let's change the font size a little bit. And I think 56 pixels looks all right. And we'll also remove this padding top zero from here so that we have the padding at the top. 
All right, so let's make these changes to our price. So we have the font size set to 56 pixels and the padding to 32. So let's go back. And uh, here in the price, let's change this to 56 pixels. And we'll just remove this padding top zero from here. And uh, let's go back. And the next thing we will do is uh, we will decrease the font size of these features. So let's go into features and let's go to the list item. And here we have set the font size to 18 pixels. Let's decrease it. And I think 16 pixels looks all right. So let's change the font size of this list item to 16 pixels. Let's go back and let's find the Li. And here we'll just change this to 16 pixels. And now this looks all right. So let's go back and let's click on update. And let's go back to our post and let's refresh this page. And now we can see we don't have any problems. It looks all right. Let's view the mobile version. And here we can see that the mobile version also looks all right. So that's basically how you add a responsive pricing table to your blogger website. Now, whenever you add custom code to your blogger website, you have to make changes depending on the theme that you're using. So for our theme, we had to make those changes to our CSS. You can go ahead and just right click and click on inspect and just play around with some CSS values over here and you'll be able to fix your problems. So that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.